It is nothing new for process engineers to size a vertical two-phase separator. However, the challenge is no two process engineers will give you the same design, though the same information is given. In this video, Guo Fu will show how you can optimally size a two-phase vertical separator with confidence in just one minute. The process data can be directly imported from the commercial software Permax. As you can see, right after the process data is imported, you've already had a separator design. The program first size the nozzles, and then vessel diameter, and then vessel height, thickness, and finally the vessel weight. In the calculation area, there are four columns. The first column is named final actual, which stands for final dimension or actual velocity. The second column is named intermediate, which is an intermediate value that helps to derive the final value. The third column is named recommend, which is a recommendation value by the program. And the last column is called user input, where you can override all the recommendation by the program. The feed nozzle is calculated based on Ruby square criteria. As you can see, the inlet feed nozzle is sized with a Ruby square of a, a thousand, and the feed nozzle diameter is calculated to be 12 inch. If you have different criteria, just tap in the user input cell, say 1500. The nozzle diameter is changed into 10 inch instead of 12 inch. The vapor nozzle and the liquid nozzle are sized the similar way. Vessel diameter is based on the k-factor, which is calculated based on GPSA guideline. The final diameter will be run to the next larger half feet or whole feet. Vessel height is calculated based on the retention time and the recommendation from the GPSA handbook. Most of the software stops right here. However, Guofu Chen goes an extra mile to bring the software to the next level. This spreadsheet also calculates the thickness of the shell and the head and the weight of the vessel. As you probably know, the diameter calculated by the GPSA is the minimum diameter to give a good separation between gas and liquid. Most of the time, a larger diameter will allow to have a shorter height and it might save cost. Based on experience, the vessel cost is highly related to the vessel weight. Thus, this tool aims at reducing the vessel weight to reduce cost while still functional. Currently, the vessel has a diameter of 36 inch with a weight of 7,435 7, pounds. Simply click the optimize button. It says it can reduce the weight by 5.7% by changing the diameter from 36 inch to 48, 48 inch. Instantly, you saved the weight by about 5.7%. Now you have a separator design, not only for functional, but also the lowest cost. All this is done in just one minute. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.